morning. My name is Ladislav Zuber. I work for the Narodní filmový archiv Prague and I will present you our request for a new cataloging system. Here you say our current state. Uh, like uh, many other institutions, we have a multitude of information system in use. They are the systems we intend to replace with our new cataloging system. The first one are film cataloging softwares. Uh, the ICE is a very old cataloging software uh, programmed in COBOL, and which is still running. And we also have a huge paper card catalogs uh, for posters, photos with basic evidence, and also for film materials as on the item level, which has a more detailed information, and we also use Google Sheets, like for oral history recordings. This is an example of our paper card catalog of photographs. And uh, yes, this card shows the most basic description, including the name of the film the photograph is related to, accession numbers, and the number of items of the same content. Yes, and the full model uh, is the working title for our upcoming cataloging system. It will be developed in cooperation with a software development company, and we are preparing a public tender for it. Full model will be designed as a collection of independent modules that communicate with each other using application programming interface. It gives us a bit of freedom to combine it with new and new models. It will encompass uh, cataloging film and other moving image work, as well as posters, photography, and oral history interviews. And we will add some other things in the future, like sound materials. Additional, it will be used for creating authority records, mainly for persons and companies, as well as event records as acquisition and preservation events. Uh, the cataloging and search module and the authorities models will be developed by a software company, while the rest will be handled by our archive. So there are some technological requirements outlined on the slide. As you can see, use of open source software technologies is prerequisite for film model. There will be no proprietary thing in it. Uh, we will develop uh, uh, modules sequentially, one after another, starting with authorities module. With each module's development, we will maintain the following workflow. The metadata specification will be output of our metadata task forces, which are already working. We will adhere to international standards while adding additional elements to it, because these standards usually have a core elements, and you have to add the elements which you need, which are not there. Metadata module means basically a database and application programming inf interface. And uh, th there's a maybe interesting step that uh, before making cataloging module, we will make search module. It's for displaying and uh, searching the record, sorry. Uh, because during the development the, uh, the period, the search module will have a specific function serving as user-friendly tool for presenting records after migrating for legacy systems to the new metadata scheme. In this way, our catalogers can access the success of migration and provide big feedback on metadata specification. These comments will guide modification to migration mapping and maybe also possibly to extension or revision of initial metadata specification. Because basically metadata specification is a Google Sheets and uh, uh, it's important that users can see it uh, in some better graphical uh, proportion. Uh, Yes, and there is also a, uh, the last step will be to make some uh, template XSD for each entity in order we can uh, these data share with other archives and ex or export them. Yes, so this is one of the standard we are rely on. I guess you all know them. It's a filmographic standard, uh, European Film Description Standard, which was later adopted by FIAF in the Film Cataloging Manual. And this is a well-known bibliographical standard we also use for film-related materials. Yeah. So the authority module will be the first module we will develop. Uh, authority metadata specification will not be based on MARC, but it will be based on ISAR and on the Czech implementation of ISAR, uh, Archival Standard for Authority Records, which is actually issued by Ministry of Interior of Czech Republic as a part of official archival description standard. Archival description in our country is mandated by 
Ministry of Interior, authority module will encompass mainly records of agents, which are persons and companies connected to films, posters, photographs, and other related entities. A significant decision was taken to prioritize the development of the authorities module as the initial component of the film model. This choice was guided by the principle that a single agent record could serve across all other modules. For example, actor featured in the film described in moving image mode module could be also relevant in the poster module where they might function as a subject from the content the actor is on the, on the poster or in oral history uh, module if actor plays the role as a narrator. Yes, on the contrary, uh, in the case of photographs, we opted for simple structure just with two hierarchical levels, work and item. In this context, expression or variant and manifestation levels are not applicable. Regarding the analytic description, we employ a file level. That doesn't mean computer file, but it's a file in the archival description meaning, which encompasses a set of photos stored within a single paper files. We have almost half a million of photos, and they are stored in these files. And the most of information, especially about photographs, are only on the level of the file. They are written on the file. So we do not know uh, exactly which photographer uh, was authored or given a photo, but we know the set of the photographers. Yes, and this is our roadmap. Uh, we will, as I said, we will develop one module after each other, authorities modules, events module, uh, film module for moving image works, posters module, photos module, XML scheme at the end, and uh, there will be harmonization transition phase. And uh, it's hard to say well when we will create the first cataloging record, possibly after the third module, but uh, we will see it uh, how it is all going. Uh, so I believe we will succeed in the endeavor to create an open source system we could uh, provide to others also. If we don't, well, we have tried. Thank you for attention. <laughs>
but I think this is as far as we can get the minimum. Great, thank you. Um, Aaron, did you have a question? Um, thank you for showing this. Um, I was curious because you say you're going to do a tender for the new system, but I also saw that you, uh, you you were very specific about the languages that would have to be used, the, the programming languages. Is that for a specific reason? Is that for, for maintenance reason? Or is that why was that so, so, so specified at this point? Well, this is our style. We have Digital Laboratory who has this uh, prescription for which open source technology to use. They have a huge experience with it. So we want to... Uh, Yes, we want uh, to, to have this prescriptive mode for the tender, but there's also written in tender if uh, the software company knows about some better technology, he, uh, it could tell us and we will discuss it. But we believe these are the best at the, at the moment and for our interval operability. Great, thanks for your presentation. Oh. Uh, we'll have one more quick question before moving on to our next one. Uh, let me go back to the uh, metadata model structure. I hope it could be mapped to Mark 21. It's to the core of the metadata structure. Yeah? Yes. Uh, some elements probably, yeah. But yeah, okay. Just some elements, okay. I would it's say. enough for me. Yeah. yeah. And uh, another question, what about the model for for music? We do not have much for music, but we will have module for sound recordings. We have sound recordings on magnetic tapes, and there will be also module uh, for it. But we don't have for music. Thank you. Great, thank you.